<laughs> What's up, you guys? Happy Tuesday. So, these weird shadows always, but... So, I'm not in my quasi-office today. I get to be in my uh, kitchen because nobody's home. So, anyway, the lighting's kind of bad, so I'm sorry. But um, I want to jump on early today. I was just um, chatting with a client this morning, and um, she said some, she shared some stuff with me that was... Um, just really cool and and it really got me thinking about kind of my own story and her story and and the transformation she's had over the last year and I was like you know what I think I need to share this with you guys so hi my love um so so what she said was we were chatting we've been working together for about a year and maybe not no not quite a year but that was kind of when um she started following me and, and started seeing my stuff about food and body and and my struggle my transition and all that kind of stuff and um, you know, she was, she was talking and she said, you know, she said that was that time where I just was done, where I just kind of hit rock bottom and I was just done. Right. And it wasn't like rock bottom in, in a, like my life is over and whatever, but it was like, she was like, you know, I was just, I was over it. I was sort of done with the struggle and done with being in a place where, you know, she was, she was working with someone, um, working with a, with a trainer that was, it was like never, never good enough. Right. It was always the when then game, like, well, when you do this, then it'll be good enough. And when you, whatever. And it was just like, there was just, it was always feeling like she was never enough and it was never enough and it would never be enough. And, um, you know, she said, that's when she started seeing my posts and she was like, I realized that there had to be a different way and there had to be a different way to feel about myself and there had to be a different way to show up in the world and there had to be a better way other than, you know, restricting her food and constantly working out and being completely unhappy and just being in that struggle, right? And so I got to think back to my own story and I was like, you know what? Like I I know that moment, like that moment completely changed my life, right? And so many of you have heard this, but I think for, we forget, right? We forget um, that the struggle is a, is our greatest blessing, right? And so for me, that struggle was my greatest blessing. So my struggle of hitting rock bottom and realizing that it didn't matter what I looked like, it didn't matter how much I restricted my food, it didn't matter any of that, I was, I was never happy and it was never enough. Um, and, and a lot of you guys have heard the story, but maybe you haven't. So I'm going to tell you the story because if you're right now feeling like you're in that struggle and you're just like, Mm, this sucks. I don't want to be here. Like, look at this as a blessing and know that your greatest epiphany is probably just around the corner. So for me, I was just unhappy and I was, you know, we were, we were doing six week challenges at the gym, which <laughs> as we now know, we don't love. Um, and I was selling weight loss and it was so out of alignment and it just wasn't good. And it took me back to all of my struggles that I'd had earlier in my life. And I thought somehow I needed a better macro coach. And so I went to this website and, um, and I heard Sam and I heard her talking and she was talking about visceral responses and emotional, you know, acceptance and that it wasn't about the food and it wasn't about my body. And, um, I remember thinking, well, that can't be right. Right. Like, of course it's about food and of course it's about my body. It's always been about that. And it wasn't. Um, but I remember listening to her and just like, I was in my bathroom and I remember just like sitting down on the bathtub and just crying and, and I wasn't, <laughs> wasn't a crier, right? Cause that was part of my problem. I didn't feel my emotions. That was most of my problem. Um, and I remember just being like, okay, this is it. Like, this is the time that things are going to change. And I, and I went and I started looking at her stuff and I started listening to her and I was like, why wasn't I ever told this before? Like, why is this something that I've never heard before? And why, why am I in this place right now when I don't have to be? And so the really cool thing was like everything at that point changed, right? And was it scary? Did I talk myself out of it? Yeah, all of those things happened, right? I was like, I don't want to do this program. I can't do this. I'm not ready for this growth. It's scary. What if, what if, what if, what if, right? But I knew in in my soul that I had hit that point where I just didn't want to do it anymore. I didn't want to do life the way I had always done life. And it was like, you know what? There's There's a time to change and there's a point to change. And I remember for me thinking that I was like, I don't want to pass this on to my daughters. And if I don't change something and I don't realize and I don't figure out what's really going on, I'm going to pass this on, right? And I was like, and I don't want to be helping people from a place of, of fear and a place, and I didn't know that at that point. So that's not what I was thinking, but that's what I know now. Um, so I just, I just want to tell you guys, you know, and after t- uh, doing this kind of coaching for a year now and seeing the transformations that people have, I just want you to know that in, if you're in that place where you're feeling like there's just, there's just no other way, right? Like it's never going to be enough. You're never going to be enough. No matter what you do, there's never enough money. There's never enough happiness. There's never enough health. Like whatever it is, 
this is here to teach you. And so what you get to decide is that if you're done, right? If you're done and you're done feeling the way that you're feeling and you're done being in that struggle and, and you're done doing the same thing over and over again and hoping for a different result, then, then you get to change, right? You get to go do something different, right? You get to decide this is where I shift my life and this is where I start to make changes to be, to have a different life and to show up differently and to be in a different place. And so you know, it's that time of year where we start to come into the last few months of the year and everybody's like, oh, what was my New Year's resolution? Did I want to make more money? Did I want to, you know, I wanted to lose 20 pounds. I wanted to whatever, right? Most of those goals, you guys, like having more money, losing weight, like that's the when then game. When I have this, then I'll do that, right? And it's not like that. So I just want you guys to know that you can choose right now to be done. You can choose to be over the struggle. You can choose to find some calm in your life. You can choose to start to shift. You can choose the life that you want and you can create it, but you have to be the, you have to be the change. You have to be the one, Hey love, you have to be the one that says I'm done and I'm going to do something different and I'm going to step out of my comfort zone and I'm going to find some help and I'm going to do this a different way. And I'm going to learn how to trust myself and I learn how to love myself truly because that's all we're actually looking for, right? We're just looking for true acceptance from ourselves and you can get that. And so I just want you guys to know that like we have been talking so much about our shift program and I'm just, I'm so inspired by this program because I know it's the path that we can take people that we can take you from that place of struggle and give you the tools in the exact framework of how do we go from that place into a place of love and acceptance and joy and nothing has to change. You don't have to lose 20 pounds. You don't have to make a hundred thousand dollars more. Like none of that has to change, but just by doing these little things and actually getting your, your body and your soul and your spirit and all of those things in alignment with where you want to go in the highest, best version of yourself, everything gets to change and it, it gets to be easy. And that's the other part. Like when I started this, I was like, it's always hard. It's always the struggle. It's always the hustle. It's always hard. And like, it doesn't have to be hard. It gets to be easy and you can shift. You can change yourself in three months, in six months, you can be a completely different person. And that, and that's what I was talking about with my client today. She's like, I'm not the same person that I was a year ago. And like, to me, that's the best thing ever, right? It's just that, that knowing that she, she is enough. And, and that's, that's what I'm grateful for every day of just being like, yeah, I might not be where I want to be because we're always achieving and growing and getting better, but I get to choose today the things that are in alignment with who I want to be and how I want to show up. And I get to choose to share that with you guys. And I get to give you guys that hope and that understanding that even if you're in the struggle and it looks bad and hard and frustrating, there's a way, right? You get to shift, you get to change. So I want you guys to really think about like, how do you want to end your year, right? Do you want to end your year just getting up and trying to survive the day and not showing up in your best version and not living out your dreams and not being that mom and that wife or that dad or that husband or that employee or that entrepreneur that you want to be, right? Like if you have a business you want to go start, go start the damn thing, right? Like you don't have to wait till it's perfect. You're never going to be perfect. It's never going to be perfect. All you have to do is make a decision. You have to make a decision that this is it. This is that time. This is that day where you start to show up differently. You start to act differently. You start to be differently and that you get to do it in small chunks that get to be easy. So that's my message for you guys. I love you guys. Um, I appreciate everything that you guys are doing. Um, so yeah, if you need, if you need help, if you want some guidance, reach out to me. I'm, I'm happy to help. I've got a lot of free resources that I'm happy to pass on. Um, if you're not in my happiness endeavor group, jump in there. Um, and if you just need some advice, let me know. I would love to help you. So, uh, I hope you guys are having an awesome Tuesday and thanks for being on. I'll talk to you guys soon.